we now have a uh, fairly pleasantish, I suppose, uh, dragon texture all the way around the waist of our jug and uh, a cap uh, to the top of our jug. Let's get it back into uh, sensible view mode and it might look a bit interesting. Well, interesting is probably stretching it, but okay. So, I mean, that's uh, the start of it, and I just want to perhaps do one more thing before we stop uh, and just show uh, the sharp curve. Uh, so, the sharp curve uh, will give you a pointed uh, front and back. Uh, take that off closed because that's not useful. Uh, let's move that up. And around. So if I uh, equalise this to start with and then subdivide it, that should stick. Oh no, that's horrible. Um, oh no, it's really truly horrible. Let's uh, undo that. First of all, I'm going to reduce my brush size and then start again. Much nicer with a smaller brush or pen in this case. I keep calling them brushes, I realise that uh, that's not necessarily what they are in this uh, context. So equalise, subdivide to keep them on the surface and that should give us a, like a snaky curve around the neck of our vase. Let's put that up into there. Move that down a bit. And now I'm going to up the width modulation to 1.5 and fill that uh, with a solid uh, thing. Taking new spacing off because that will just make a mess of it. And we've got our bump and our specular on there. And then I'm going to just drop that to 0.75. Uh, pick a blue colour, I'll perhaps use the paint dropper for that, and uh, head backwards and press enter again. Now, I mean, this isn't meant to be pretty. Uh, my brain isn't uh, prepared at the moment for doing uh, too much in the way of prettiness. Um, <laughs> not because I don't do pretty, but because uh, it's getting late, I've been at work all day, etc, etc. So all we need to do now then is export our uh, textures. So it's easy, texture, export, diffuse map, and pick a format, I'm going to pick JPEG, as you can see I've done this once before, uh, yes it will. I always fill empty parts because that helps with uh, a bit of seaming. Uh, textures, export, specular map, uh, PNG, call it spec. Come on. And then uh, textures, export. Displacement map for visible layers, so it gets any, all of them. Zero is grey, is fine. Uh, what do we want here? Tiff's fine, I think. Save. Yes. For empty parts, as usual. Gives you a depth factor. I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Perhaps somebody will tell me. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much our work there done. So back here, <laughs> here's one I did earlier, um, we have our vars. Uh, because I've used the same uh, file names, uh, that should have uh, refreshed them in Poser and uh, be ready for me to uh, to render with. Let's just adjust this light around a bit. OK, now one thing to uh, remember is in render settings you need to have displacement ticked and when you're ready, render away. And I'm just going to pause it while that renders because it's boring otherwise. Okay, so that's a fairly plain render but uh, it's worked out. 
and we have our fairly matte stony texture. A little dragony motif around here is bumped a little bit, and we've got uh, a specular on it, as you can see there. Uh, the fact that it's bumpy uh, gives you an indication that there is a bump on there. Um, our sort of jug edges uh, come out with our displacement and is shiny. Uh, and this has come up obviously, giving us some uh, profile detail. So yeah, that's that. I hope that's uh, useful, gives you some thoughts and ideas and uh, yeah, help in the right direction. Um, that's it for now. Uh, I shall stop, get these processed, upload them and go to bed. Hurrah. Uh, have a good evening.